In this video, I'll be expanding on a previous video where I showed you how to create this dynamic appointment calendar in Google Sheets. Specifically, I'll be showing you how to add an event list so that anything that you add here will automatically show up in the calendar itself. And if you missed the first video, there is a link to it in the description and in the comments. Now, the first video ended with this calendar, where you can change the month or year and the dates update automatically. However, the problem is that any information added below the dates is not going to change whenever you change the year or month. So that's the problem we're going to fix in this video. Now, if you don't have the starting file, you can download it using the link in the description. And once you have the file open, the first thing that you want to do is add a new sheet by clicking the plus button here, and then rename the new worksheet to events. Now you only need the first three columns for this worksheet, so go ahead and select columns D through Z, right click, and delete. Then select cell A1 and type in date then event, and then notes. You can also make the notes column a little wider if you want to. Once you've done that, select row one, bold the font, and add a light green fill color or a color of your choice. You can then type in some sample data like so. Once you've entered some data, select column A and change the horizontal alignment to left. Then click the More Formats button here, select Custom Date and Time, and then just select a date format that works for you and click Apply. At this point, you're going to create two range names that are going to help with formulas later on. And you'll begin by selecting column A then hold Control and click cell A1 to deselect it. This will leave A2 through A1000 selected, and with this range selected, click here in the name box and type in the name Date Range with no spaces and press Enter. You should then be able to click the down arrow here and see the new range name that you've just created. Now for the next range name, select column B, hold control, and click cell B1 to deselect it. And this of course leaves B2 through B1000 selected, so go ahead and click the name box here, and type in event range again with no spaces, and press enter. You should then see the range name here. Okay, with the range names created, Go ahead and navigate back to the Calendar tab. Select cell B8 and enter the following formula. Equals if in a function array underscore constrain function filter function event range next argument date range equals B7 close parentheses, next argument, four, next argument, one, close parentheses, next argument, quote, quote, close parentheses, and enter. This formula uses the filter function to grab all of the events from the event list that match up with the date listed in cell B7. The array constraint function then ensures that a maximum of four events are taken for that specific date. And of course, the if na function returns nothing just in case that there are no events for that specific date. Now that being said, your next step is to copy the formula all the way to cell H8 using the fill handle. Then use control C to copy, Select cell B13, use control V to paste. Select cell B18, use control V to paste. Select cell B23, use control V to paste. 
select cell B28, use control V to paste, select cell B33, and use control V to paste. With that, you can now change the month or year on top, and the events for each date will now update automatically based on your selection. Now, before you go, there are two very important things that I want to point out before bringing this video to a close. The first is that this calendar is limited to displaying four events per day. If you plan five events on the same day, only the first four are going to show up. And the second important detail is this. If you expand column B on the event page, you will of course be able to write out longer event titles. However, you must also expand columns B through H on the calendar page to the same width so that the titles can clearly be displayed there as well. This is important to remember to keep everything looking nice and professional. With that, like this video if you had fun, subscribe if you learned something new, and until next time, I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.